Firstly, you go to Windows SSD, Programs File 86, then Steam, Steam Apps, right there, Common, Geometry Dash, and then Resources. There's three different game sheets, one for each detail. But Nigel, where's the part you show me how to make a texture pack? I'm gonna click off this video because you're not showing me what I asked for. So tell me, how to make one now! The software I use to edit all of my texture packs is paint.net. So just search paint.net, then click the first link. Then you'll see this, free download, so just click free download. Then you click .pdn because why would you want to pay money for something that's free. Then click it again, and bam, now you have it installed. Congrats, you did it. Wow! If you want to custom color your icon, select the paint bucket tool. Now you just find an icon, whichever icon you want, and you can make it any color that might not be available in the game, or just have three different colors. For example, so now I'll just select the paint bucket tool, and then I simply just grab any color, and then I can edit whatever I want. So let's make it red. I think that will look nice. That shade of red isn't available in the game, actually. Let's get this dark blue. And now let's make green. So now we have three separate colors, which is something you can't do in the actual game. So now we just have to save as, and make sure to save it as a PNG file, not a PDN. Now we get set to the actual resources file here, instead of just saving it as a paint.net file. Now you click OK. Now you load up Jump Dash. But wait, why didn't it work? You might have the wrong detail, so for this one, this was medium detail. We need high detail because UHD, HD, and just nothing is connected to high, medium, and low detail. So all you have to do is just select high detail, and ta-da, it works! If you want to add a picture as your icon, all you have to do is just copy and paste the picture onto the game sheet, size the dimensions to the actual icon you want, and then save as. If you want to add custom designs to the icons, all you have to do is just select the paintbrush or pencil tool, and then just draw on it, and then follow the same steps with the save as and replace process. 